What is it that separates the successful traders from the unsuccessful traders? Well, there's a lot of things that separate the two, but in large part, winning traders never accept a big loss. They never put themselves at risk of taking a really big loss. Losing traders, on the other hand, they take big losses all the time, and it has nothing to do necessarily with how skillful you are or how smart you are as a trader. It's just about risk. You know, the winning traders understand not to take on too much risk. They never want to put themselves in a position where they take a really big drawdown. Losing traders take really big drawdowns all the time. And until you learn the math behind those really big drawdowns, you run the risk of making this a habit or taking these unnecessarily large losses. And when you do that, you're digging yourself a hole that you just can't dig yourself out of. So let's discuss the math behind drawdowns. So to be a successful trader, you must avoid taking big drawdowns. For those of you new to trading, you may not be familiar with this term drawdown. What does that mean? Well, drawdown has a couple of different meanings depending on how we're using it. First, it can refer to a peak to trough decline in an asset's price over a specific period of time. Now, that sounds complicated, but that's basically looking at a stock chart. For example, I'm going to look at Enphase Energy here. So the, the drawdown would be this peak here to this trough, right? You know, this high point of the chart to the low point of the chart, that's a drawdown, right? That is the stock had a drawdown of whatever that particular number is, right? But when we're talking about a drawdown, today what we're talking about is a drawdown in capital. So when we talk about drawdown, it refers to a loss in capital, such as the loss of our net liquidity, the net lick value of our trading account. It is crucial that you avoid taking a huge drawdown because these huge drawdowns can take years to recover from. If you lose you know, 30% or 40% of your net lick on one trade, right, you can lose that just like that. You can take a bad trade and, and lose, you know, 50% of your account, right? But how long will it take you to recover from such a bad trade? Well, it could take years for you to recover all of that money that you lost. That's why successful traders don't do that. They never put themselves at risk of taking that big drawdown. So let's take a look at the numbers. So if I go to this chart here, let's take a look at you know, the drawdown percentage versus the percent to get back to even. And this chart makes it really, really clear why you should never take big drawdowns. For example, a small drawdown, say you lose 5% of your account value on a trade. 5%, that's no small loss. That's a pretty big loss. You know, if you're trading with a $100,000 account, a 5% drawdown means you just lost five grand. That's that's not something to just sneeze at, right? That's a, that's a real loss. But to get back to even, all you need is to gain 5.3% of the account back. So recovering from a 5% drawdown is actually not too bad. Also recovering from a 10% drawdown, which is a, a really big drawdown, but you know, you lose 10% of an account to get back to even, you then have to have an 11.1% gain. 15% drawdown, you need a 17.6% gain. That's still not too different, uh, 15 to 17, you know, those numbers are still pretty similar. But once you get 20% and above, the numbers get crazy. If you have a 20% loss of capital in your account, you have a 20% drawdown, to get back to even, you then have to have 25% gains to get back the 20% that you lost. And think about that. How often do you have 25% returns in a year, in an entire year? It's rare you have a year where you get a 25% gain. That's why I'm saying, you know, some of these big drawdowns can take multiple years to get back to even. So, you know, once you get to 20%, this is danger zone, right? Because now, you know, 25% return takes forever, right? And then if you have a 25% drawdown in your account, you need a 33% gain to get back to even. How often do you get a 33% gain in one single year? Again, that's very rare. And you can see once you get 35%, 50% and above the number, the percentage that you need to get back to even grows exponentially. With a 50% drawdown, you actually then need a 100% gain, right? Think about that. If you have $100,000 in your account and you have a 50% drawdown, which means you lost $50,000, well, you now 
have an account of $50,000. To get back to $100,000, you need a 100% gain, right? You need to double your $50,000 to get back to even. And then once you get to 75%, you need a 300% gain. You need to triple your account value. And 90%, you need a 900% gain. And you really, at that point, at a 90% loss, uh, your account is so crippled that you're never going to get back to even without actually funding the account again. So this is the reason that successful traders do not take big drawdowns. They never put themselves in a situation to where they take those drawdowns. You, you just don't enter a trade that's taking on that much risk. When you enter a trade, you should know what your max loss is, right? You, you should know, hey, I could potentially take a loss of this amount. And if this amount is, say, greater than 5% of your account or 10% of your account or whatever, you know, th th those 5% and 10% numbers, they're manageable. But once you get to 20% and above, you cannot take a trade where there is a possibility of you taking that kind of loss because you will never recover from it. Just some food for thought. Peace, guys.